Hi, everybody. Welcome to her cookbook shelf. This channel is done with my husband, Kevin. My name is Michelle. I can't say welcome if you're new because this is the very first video that we have done. Um, the very first book that I wanted to do is the Fanny Farmer cookbook. And the reason I chose this cookbook in particular is because this is the very first cookbook that I was ever gifted many, many, many years ago. I originally had the smaller size cookbook, the soft cover one. It's since gone. And I acquired the hardcover book because I just couldn't imagine my cookbook shelf without it. So a little background information on this cookbook, if you don't know anything about it, it's quite a popular book. This is the 12th edition, and it was done in 1984. The original cookbook was done in 1896, and it was called The Boston Cooking School by Fanny Farmer. And this book has a hundred, no, sorry, it has 811 pages. It's a pretty hefty book. It weighs 3.0 pounds and it's two and a quarter inches thick. It's hardcover and it's six and a half inches roughly by nine and a half inches. And this is one of my beloved books because there's so much information inside of it. You could buy this cookbook and you could learn how to cook just about anything from this book because it has great pictures inside of it. It has great tips inside of it. It gives you every cut of meat. It breaks it down for you so that if you wanted to go purchase the meat in the recipes, you know what you're looking for and you know where the meat comes from on the animal. It has lots of tips, as I said, and you can pretty much learn to cook. It's a wonderful book. And we're going to show you one recipe today from it. The recipe that we're going to make, we just chose something simple, something that most people would have at home for ingredients in their house that you could just whip this up if you decided that you wanted to make it. It's just a basic meatloaf. There is variations for toppings for this meatloaf. I think there were four. And we chose the one with bacon on top. So without further ado, let's get to the recipe. Okay, so what we're going to make here with all of these ingredients is from this cookbook. And it's this recipe right here. Now you can see there's four options of how to make it as well. Meatloaf with parsley and tomato. Meatloaf with cheese. Meatloaf with bacon and meatloaf with three meats. We are doing the meatloaf with bacon. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients and then we'll put it together. The first ingredient that we need, and we're halving this recipe. So this is one cup of breadcrumbs that I just tore up myself. It says, one onion chopped fine. So I just took a small onion and chopped it finely. One egg, because the original recipe, and it says lightly beaten. So this is one egg, lightly beaten. One pound of medium ground beef. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce three quarters of a teaspoon of dry mustard, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and one eighth a teaspoon of pepper. So, four slices of the bacon to cover the top of it with. And I have previously buttered the loaf pan, so that's ready to go. So I'm just going to break this up. I'm just breaking this up a bit. And then everything's going in. Breadcrumbs. Onions. My Worcestershire sauce. dry mustard, and salt, 
the pepper, the egg. We'll go from there. Okay, there's phase one. Got it out of the pan. And no shirts were destroyed in the removal of this meatloaf. So now we cut it, find out what it looks like. Okay, so there's what it looks like. One slice of it. And there, definitely looks like it's cooked very well. And we'll have to give it a little taste. Okay, so here is our basic review. It is very good. Is it like all the meatloaf Michelle and I have made before? No, but it is very good and we would make it again. So thanks for watching everybody. This is gonna be the end of this video. I wanted to mention just a couple more things. The book does have a really good section on herbs and spices and seasonings. And it also has a section on organ meat and fish I think I forgot to mention that. So if this is something that you're interested in, you could probably find this book on Etsy, eBay, Amazon. I originally had a smaller one, the soft cover one, and I had it just until a few years ago. And now I have this bigger hardcover one. You can probably still find both, although I did not see a soft cover one when I was looking for it. If this video is something that you liked, I hope that you would give us a like and consider subscribing. And we look forward to bringing you more videos, more cookbooks from my shelf in the future. And if you know someone that maybe would be interested in this video, maybe share it with them and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when we are going to drop another video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again.